I'm Mike Jones with Variety here with Joshua Seftel, who has uh, War Inc. here. Is it playing in competition at Tribeca? I don't think so. It's, not, it's, it's in just the spotlight premier. section. It's in the spotlight yeah, section. Yeah, yeah. And its yeah. premiere is Monday night. Monday, April 28th. Uh, tell us what uh, War Inc. is about. War Inc. is uh, starring John Cusack. John plays an assassin who is sent to a fictional country called Tarakistan, where there's a war going on. He's sent there to assassinate an oil minister. And in the process, his cover is to play a trade show. Uh, he's running a trade show, at, which is, is, is um, profiting from the war. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the process, he meets a, a Taraki pop star, played by Hilary Duff, and a left-wing journalist, played by Marissa Tomei. And then mayhem ensues mm -hmm. at that point. And it's kind of this hyper-saturated world that you've created. Every once in a while, he takes a shot, a straight shot of Tabasco sauce, which he's kind of cultivated, um, which kind of seems to jolt him back. Or, or what, is, what actually talk about like this Tabasco Tabasco sauce tool that you use? Like, what what does that what does that mean? The the people who wrote this script mm -hmm. are Mark Laner, Jeremy Pixer, and John Cusack, and they have. Uh, they're great guys, and uh, they have uh, very rich imaginations. And the Tabasco sauce uh, is, you know, many protagonists have a vice, or they have something that keeps them from falling apart. And in our film, it's the Tabasco sauce. Mm -hmm. And John's character regularly takes a, a hit off of this bottle of Tabasco sauce. And when he's really feeling a lot of pain, he takes a hotter sauce, mm. and when things are okay, it's a little bit less hot. And it, so John Cusack, his production company, New Crime Productions, produced it, and he's an exact producer or producer on the project? John Cusack is a, a produced the film along mm. with a couple of other so people. So they bring you the right. project? They did. And in developing kind of the style, what did, what did you talk about? What kind of films did you talk about? We talked about a lot of films. We looked at a lot of films. Um, the, probably the film that came up the most, and if this is an ambitious goal because I, I see it as a really iconic uh, part of the history of cinema, is Dr. Strangelove. Mm -hmm. You know, that was something that we sort of talked about and looked up at and said, wow, that's up there. That would be nice to get, you know, even somewhere close to that. Uh, you know that's it's a but it's quite an ambitious goal. Right. How talk about I mean developing it with him. Did you work out scenes? Did you did you have? How, where was the script when it came to you? Was it pretty completed? Or did you kind of rewrite it as you went? The script the script was pretty much completed yeah. when I when I was uh, brought on and um, it did change over time and of course it changed in the edit room and so yeah it was it was always evolving. You know I would come to the set in the morning and the writers were often ar around on set. And we would talk about like, hey, let's try this, let's try that, mm -hmm. let's change this, these lines, let's cut this out and add some new lines. And so it was constantly, it was a living script for mm -hmm. sure, which which is a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, it's like anything can happen. Yeah. And it shot on. Where is it? Where did you guys shoot it? It's shot primarily on one set, it seems. We we shot in Bulgaria. Oh really? Yes, we shot the whole Why thing in Bulgaria. In Bulgaria. Uh, Bulgaria is a great place to make movies. Uh -huh. uh, inexpensive. Um, this project, it, it, although it looks like a, a huge budget film, um, it's not as big as, as you would think. Mm -hmm. um, we stretched the dollar by, by doing it in Bulgaria. Why premiere it at Tribeca? Did you have any other festival ideas for it? It was timing, and um, Tribeca is a great place to, to premiere a film. I mean, it's, I, I'm, a New, I'm a New Yorker, right. so um, it's great to have your, your film premiere at home. Right. It's just the best. What are you working on next? I am uh, developing a couple of features. I'm, I'm a documentary filmmaker mm -hmm. by trade, so I started in documentary. I st continue to work in documentary. Um, that's my love. Um, I also love features, and I'm developing uh, a couple of feature projects. How did um, being a documentary filmmaker inform this one? Was this your first narrative? This was my first feature-length feature narrative. narrative. I've uh -huh. done some shorts and pilots, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I would say um, when, when you're making a documentary film you need to pretend like you know nothing when you're directing a feature film you need to pretend you know everything it's all about pretending uh, -huh. uh it's you know what what i mean by that is when you make a documentary you are you are a fly on the wall you're trying to fit in you're trying to win people over to make them feel comfortable mm -hmm. and sometimes being naive is a way of doing that 
when you're directing a feature, you have to know everything. You have to anticipate everything that's going to happen. You have to give everyone around you, including the cast, the feeling that you know exactly what's going to happen, although no one can ever know exactly what's going to happen, mm -hmm. because that's what people want, mm -hmm. and that's what people need, and that's mm -hmm. how you steer the ship. So it's, it's a very different in some ways. On the other hand, you know, I've, as a documentary filmmaker, I've, I've been in war zones, I've been in hot spots, I've been in back rooms and political, you know, campaigns, I've been um, following celebrities around. So I've seen firsthand in real life a lot of the things that are in this film. And so for me, um, it was really fun to take the stuff I've seen in reality and create a fictional version of it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of truth in this script and there's a darkness to, to the film that is there's a truth and a darkness and we're hoping we're hoping that we get people thinking about a lot of things mm -hmm. well josh thanks for coming to talk to us sure great. my pleasure yeah shake your hand shake. <laughs>